Everybody, uh, welcome to another Let's Go Fishing video out in the country for this one. Um, still down south, and I got a bit of a goal for the day today is to catch a Murray cod trout on a lure in one day in this same system. Um, so I'm up the Upper Murray, beautiful spot here, and I actually went for a walk this morning. I didn't film the intro because it was in the dark, so this is the intro. And I went for a cod walk this morning with surface and uh, had a bit of luck um, so gonna kick the video off with the footage from this morning and now i'm on my way walking in to see if i can get a trout but here's how it went down this morning and we'll see how we go on the trout Day. Second cast of the morning. I got a fish. That's so cool. It's only a little tacker, but that's still awesome. Beautiful little fish, though. All right, there he is. Beautiful little cod to start the morning. Fat little sucker. Crush that tremor. So awesome. What a start to the trip, hey? I'll uh, pop the hooks out in, keep fishing, because I know there's some big ones here. I'd love to get a big one straight up, so be back. All right, beautiful little clear water green one. Start the morning off, keep casting. All right, so that was super awesome to kick the morning off with a couple of topwater bites like that. Uh, only smaller fish and only landed the one of them, but that doesn't matter. Uh, still got the cod on first light, which I was hoping for. So now I've got the rest of the day to explore this beautiful river and see if I can run into a trout. There was actually plenty of trout rising and plenty of trout activity on first light this morning while I was fishing for cod. So I've changed over to the little rod and I've got a little Redick on here, little Redick MF50. And I'm just gonna fish through some of this water again and see if I can pick up one of these nice brown trout. And there is the odd rainbow trout in here as well. So uh, super stoked, it's gonna be a beautiful day. Gonna get pretty hot, heaps of flies around, but that's all good. I'm gonna get into it and start casting for a trout. Oh my God, so I don't think hindsight was working then, but I just had a nice size cod just eat this Reddick 50 mil. Here I am spinning for trout off the rock wall. And I've only got bloody 10 pound liter and I've seen him suck in the whole thing. Wow, this is gonna be an intense fight. This is gonna be a very intense fight. I have to just go super light on him. That's incredible. I haven't even got a trout yet. Just got to the river 
cast around the 50 mil Redick. Smashed by a card, and I got to watch it just here. Ah oh, man. Can't believe I wasn't checking hindsight. <laughs> not a bad cod either. It's not a bad cod. Wow, so it turns out I didn't even need to go fish surface first thing. I could have just come up here and cast a trout lure. Oh yes, that reddick's just got him in the tip of the nose. Perfect spot. Shouldn't be able to bite me off there. Be worried about that 10 pound leader on his sharp teeth. Oh. Beautiful little cod. So cool in this clear water. How cool is that? Man, what a beautiful fish. Incredible looking fish. Alright, that's running his nose nicely. Might just walk him up here. Nice and shallow, nice safe spot to get him in. If I can go against the current, I'm not sure if I can, but I'll try. Got him. There's that 50 mil Reddick. What a beautiful fish. <laughs> On the little zing. Travel. Man, is he a beautiful fish. He is an incredible, incredible looking fish. That is so very cool. What an absolute cracker. So good on the trout, on the trout gear, 10 pound. There's that little reddick, 50 mil. All right, I'm gonna get the hooks out of him and get him back. All right, it's gonna be the coolest bit. Get him to watch off, watch him swim off in this crystal clear water. Oh, he's biting down on me hard. Oh, he's really got me now. He's not happy. He's not happy at all. He really wants me to let go of him. <laughs> that is so cool. Very cool. Cruise back off to his pool. Hopefully I see him again another day. Well, that was not what I was expecting on the little 50 mil uh, jerk bait, but I'll take it. That was certainly fun on that little rod. Um, I haven't caught a light tackle cod for a while, so that was really cool. But uh, I'm going to have to put a new hook on. He did break one of the hooks, but uh, I'm going to get a new hook on and see if I can get this bloody trout, eh? Hopefully, I can get a trout that size. That'll be sick. Well, that's a bummer. I just went to continue walking after catching that cod and uh, slipped over, split my wrist open, and it's bleeding quite a bit. A lot of flies on it, so I'm going to have to go back to my first aid kit tape it up and uh, reassess. All right, well, that bloody day took a turn for the worst pretty bloody quick. Uh, it was awesome to get out and catch those fish, but then when I slipped over and split my hand open on the rocks, uh, I knew it wasn't good. I thought I could... Uh, push through it but yeah after a while I realized that it did need a few stitches so I uh, walked back to the car had a bit of a rest there when I got to the car and bumped into some other fellas asked them what they thought and they thought it needed stitches definitely so I uh, ended up having a run into bloody hospital and they stuck half a dozen stitches in it cleaned it right out which was good there's a lot of dirt and stuff in it from slipping over on the rocks and a bit of rock and um, stitched me back up and now I'm back out at the river a uh, bit sore after they opened it up and washed it all out but I reckon I can still get a bit of a fish in this afternoon I'm going to take the cod rods and I'm going to take the trout rod just in case and um, yeah we'll see what we can come up with 
Some days, just bloody aren't your day. It's been ages since I hurt myself fishing, but when you're walking around doing stuff, you know, you never know what's gonna happen. So just be on about that. It's gonna take a few days to heal up and get the stitches out in three or four days, but hopefully I can get a little bit of fishing in over the next three or four days because I really did have a few good trips planned, but we'll see how we go. Fishing was it tonight. Cooked up this epic feed, pork cutlets, salad, cold coke, river's just there. And uh, I'm gonna eat this and go see uh, if the hand can take a bit of a beating and maybe get another cod. All right, so I'm walking in. I've got the trout rod and the cod rod and my hand's strong enough to hold the rods, so that's a good thing. And uh, river's just here. So instead of going fishing with trout and then going back to get my cod rod and going fishing with cod, I'm just going to do them both together. I'm going to have a bit of a fish for trout while the sun's up. And then as that sun goes down, I'll switch over to the cod lure and see how that goes. But man, the river looks good here. Hopefully I can get a fish without destroying my hand too much. All right. After a bunch of walking we're back in the same spot where we buddy spilled her this morning Let's see if we can cast we can definitely cast a wine which is a good sign gotta try and not get my hand wet come on trout one nice trouty and i'll be happy finish this double off like i should have this morning Yep, come on. Oh yeah, nice trip. Oh yeah. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> That's so awesome. There he goes again. And again. Absolutely sending it, buddy. That is so cool. Beautiful little rainbow. Beautiful little rainbow. Oh, missed him up here. My good hand. How cool is that? I got the double. He's only about 100 meters from where I caught that cod. He would be cod food if he could catch you, buddy. That's for sure. All right, after that bloody setback of the day, it's awesome to finally get the double like this late afternoon. And uh, it's awesome that I can still fish with my hand like it is. But I'm gonna get the hooks out of this and let the fella go because it's hot. All right, there he is, he's ready to go. He's ready to go. There he goes. So awesome, so awesome. All right, that sun finally just dipping below the hills, which is awesome. Hopefully now the fishing picks up a little bit, but it doesn't really matter because I've already got the double, which is what I wanted to do. But I'll give it another probably half an hour up here for a trout. And then I'm going to pick up the cod rod and throw some surface for like the last hour. So... Hopefully something big happens. There we go. I'm on again. I'm on again. Oh, I don't know if this is a brown or a rainbow, this one. It's brown, this one. Sweet. Got the triple if I can get him in here. Beautiful brown. 
All right, very happy with that. That is the triple, and he is a nice brown. Pretty cool for this high country streams, but get the hooks out him, get him back, and uh, then I might go for a cod. Okay, he's ready to go now. Thanks for coming, buddy. He's out of here. So good. All right, and I said I was going back for cod, but uh, I've got the trout bug. I'm gonna go to the next rapid. I got both those fish in a nice rapidy bit, so another rapid just like 100 meters up here. So if we can get one more trout, and then I'll go fish top water on dark. All right, next pull for trout was a bad idea. I uh, didn't get one, so now I'm making the mad dash back the only hard fish for cod on dark. was like first cast of the evening for a topwater cod and yeah that nice snag in the back of the pool there I just got inhaled by a better one I think that was like probably an 80 or something but uh yeah the hooks just didn't stick bugger I got some really good stuff coming up down here though so I'm just gonna gas it straight down here and truck the surface at these big snags down here made it back to the car uh probably bit off a bit more than i could chew there uh it's about 10 o'clock ended up walking back in the dark a fair way but that's all good um super stoked with that afternoon my hand hasn't felt too bad although there's a bit of bleeding on the bandage and stuff and uh yeah it's not too bad at all which stoked with that and i could still wind which is awesome and really good to get those fish, but yeah, I uh, missed two big buffs there on dark from cod on the tremor. Um, they were the two best cod of the day for sure. That last one right in the dark, I don't know how much you can see it, but yeah, that was an absolute cracker, that one. Um, Would have loved to have got him, but just kicking back at the car now. Actually cracked this can of Bundy that I, was, I had ready in case I got a metery. Um, decided that I was going to crack it because bloody big day by the time i did that to be hand and got back out here it was um yeah big mission but i'm gonna give it one more crack in the morning gonna go for a walk on first light again and fish where i missed that big cod tonight and hopefully fingers crossed i, I can get him to come back on first light because he is an absolute cracker but um yeah i'm gonna drink this and then i'm gonna go to sleep and i'll see you guys at five in the morning all right good morning i'm probably a fraction late getting up this morning um, just making the mad dash across to where I missed that big one last night just as the sun's starting to bring a bit of light into the sky so got about another five minutes of walking and then I'll be there hopefully that big fish comes out again hits the surface that'd be amazing Quick. 
Wow, he was quick. That fella. Holy mackerel, that was quick. So fast. Beautiful little fish. Whoa. Can't get over how quick that thing was. He smashed it. He nearly got me downstream too. That was sick. Very cool. Condition on these things is incredible up here in this fast water. It is a beautiful, beautiful fat fish. The bite on that was just crazy. How fast was he? A little hunchback doing the damage. Get the hooks out him and uh, get him back. All right, hooks are out of him. I'll uh, slide him back in here. Thanks for coming, buddy. You're a bloody legend. He's out of here. See if we can get another one. All right, so the sun is pretty much on the water everywhere now. Uh, surface bite for cod. He's uh, done and dusted, I think. So having a bit of breakfast, iced coffee, and an Odie slice. And I'm going to pick up the trout rod and just have a bit of a trout fish for the next couple of hours. Uh, my hand doesn't feel too bad at all. Um, so, yeah, give it a bash for a trout for a couple of hours and see if I can come up with a good one. And then I think that'll be it. Uh, I might go rest my hand for a couple of days. But it'd be nice to finish off with a nice trout. Um, so I've got that same ready 50 mil on. And uh, I'm going to eat this, drink this, and get walking. Trouty on. Trouty on. Only a little guy to start the session off, but it's a start at least. Smash that ready. Beautiful little golden brown. It's cool. Here we go. Hooks are out of him. See you later, buddy. Go grow into a 10 pounder for me. All right, so I've got to stop off to put a new leader on. And this is the leader I'm using. It's the Ultralas uh, 10 pound fluorocarbon. Uh, this is stuff you can actually spool your reel with as well. Um, but I like to use it for leader. It's not actually a leader material, but it's a really nice, soft, subtle uh, fluorocarbon. And I'm tying this to the 16 pound X braid uh, pentagram uh, via an FG knot. Uh, the reason I'm using 16 pound is because it's so super thin. It's really thin. Um, you don't need to go any lower. So the 16 pound matches the 10 pound braid, 10 pound leader very nicely. Um, yeah, I just do a 30 wrap FG here. Quickly tying right here. It's definitely the best leader knot of all time, the old FG. And I'm just tying a new one just because uh, I've had like 24 hours of fishing on that other one. So it's time for a fresh run in case I hook a big trout. Some big trout in there. I've actually caught my, uh, well, hooked my PB biggest trout in this river here. Um, I did lose it, but it would have been well over 10 pounds. Big wild fish, which is amazing. So, and I've decided that I'm going to go to this more natural color than the gold. Water's super clear and low today. That's just another um, jerkbait. Reddick MF50 uh, dives to about a meter and a half. Caught heaps of sooty grunner and jungle perch on this one already. Keen to see what I can do on the trout. This color, I absolutely love it. It's got this nice bit of uh metallic line down the side so i'm gonna tie that on and keep casting it's another nice brownie here man he's a beautiful fish colors on him are incredible 
Very, very nice colours. Doesn't like going in the shallows. There he is. How are the colours on him, hey? Absolutely beautiful. Alright, just got that Redick out and he is ready to go, this fella. See your buddy. Beautiful looking fish that one was. Another oh, nice brownie. Had some bigger ones come and look at it, but it's only the the smaller ones that want to commit at the moment, but he's still a beautiful little fish. Just put him by a tiny bit of skin there. Let him go nice and healthy. He's a nice fish too. He's a really nice fish. Oh yeah. Stunning fish. Wow, look at that thing. That's the one I've been after. Alright, got him here. He's an absolute cracker of a fish, this one. Very happy. Very happy with that one on that uh, little 50 mil Redick. He's a beautiful wild river trouty. He'd be, uh, yeah, in the 50 centimeter range. Nice couple of pounder. Absolutely stunning fish out of that beautiful run there. I'm gonna get this little Redick out and get him back. All right, the lure's out. Let him swim off in this beautiful clear water. Thanks for coming, buddy. Cheers. There he goes. Back to his beautiful run over there. All right, well, on that note, after just landing that Kraken trout, um, I think I'm pretty satisfied. Uh, been an awesome couple of days. Despite bloody wrecking my hand like that, it was good to persist and get some bloody good fish. Nice top water action on the cod, although I didn't get the big one I was after, and then some nice trout. Um, super cool spot up here, the Upper Murray. I really love it every time I come up, it's awesome. But it's now 10 o'clock and I've got a decent walk back to the car if I'm going to make it back there for lunch. But I'll just wrap the video up with a bit of gear run through. Uh, that was the most valuable piece of equipment of the trip. That little MF50 Redick. Uh, played the trout, got that cod. Awesome little lure. Uh, I also used the Tremor and the Hunchback on the cod with the surface. Um, my rod here is a Samaki Zing Gen 3, four to eight pound travel. Uh, awesome little light tackle rod, spooled up with that 16 pound X braid, 1000 Stratic. The cod setup I was using was a Samaki Zing Gen 3 swim bait rod, and then also a bait cast rod in the 10 to 16 pound. Uh, awesome rods, the Samaki Zing Gen 3. Uh, awesome price point, very affordable, but still high quality rods. Um, so if you want to check those out, no worries. I was using 50 pound uh, braid on my cod setup with uh, 60 pound X braid leader. So that's pretty much the gear wrap up for the video. Um, I'm going to pack my stuff up and get walking out of here. But thanks for tuning in to another video, guys. I really appreciate it. And uh, there's plenty more on the way. Cheers. Right. I know I said I was going back to the car, but I just saw all these big mud suckers in this little creek next to the car. I couldn't help myself but get the fly rod and I gotta catch one of these things. I gotta get the quad for the day. I got the uh, Murray cod, the brown trout, the rainbow trout. Got to get the you big European carp too. He's a big sucker too. He's a big hogget. Gee.
Jeez, did he come for this bloody fly, this one? Sometimes they're not that reactive for the fly, other times these do they come for it. Go for whatever structure we can now. Big heavy sucker. Big heavy sucker. Running out of steam now, are you, buddy? There he is. He is a real fat one. Okay, so I know I said I was done, but I saw all these carp and uh, you can't just walk past all these massive carp. So I ran back, got the fly rod. Literally been over here two minutes after getting the fly rod. And uh, Monster Euro like that. He is a monster. I reckon he'll go 10 pound on the old scale. Not a bad way to finish off the day. Not a bad way to finish off the day, the old 10 pound Euro. All right, so now I'm completely done. I'm uh, going back to the car. Or maybe I should go catch a redfin. Anyway. Thanks for watching another video, guys. Cheers.